Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to bleed a brake. But first things first, when should you bleed a brake? Actually, it's pretty simple to check it out. First thing you'll notice is that the brake will start losing some pressure. For example, on this bike, a few weeks ago, you could feel a lot of pressure on the brake around here. And now, I can only feel a lot of pressure around here. So, it's definitely a sign that the hydraulic system is lo losing some pressure and you definitely should bleed the brakes again. But then, why does this happen? Actually, it's pretty simple. The hydraulic system isn't foolproof, so sometimes you get some air, some water in, or simply because it starts leaking some oil and some air starts getting in. And that can happen for several reasons. Simply because riding, if the vibration of the bike and where you're riding causes a lot of vibration and can get some air in or some water if you ride on some riverbeds, for example. Woo! Make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Simply by cleaning the bike, uh, as well with the water pressure, you can have some water getting in the oil system. So the oil mixing with you, the water, it won't work the same way. Child, this poor guy is about to get knocked down. Bam! Or sometimes just because the brakes feel like it and it will get some air or water in. For this oil change, you'll need a plastic syringe with a plastic tube, a Phillips screwdriver, an 8mm wrench, a reservoir or somewhere to put the used oil, and some DOT4 brake fluid oil. Why use a plastic syringe? Well, it's pretty simple. A while ago, I didn't use this system, but I was completely sold after the first time I used it. Because when you simply pour the oil on the oil reservoir, the oil will be over the air that will be on the hydraulic system. So, what happens is that you'll spend a lot of time pumping the brake lever in order for the air to go over the oil. With the plastic syringe, what you can do is push the air right from the bottom of the, of the hydraulic system. So it will push all the air out at once and, with, and the air will come out from the brake, oil brake reservoir. So you'll pretty much eliminate the step of pumping the, the brake lever until the air comes out simply because you stir from the bottom and not from the top. And trust me, that saves you a lot of time. We first start by removing the oil reservoir's cap and if you don't change regularly, these bolts can be pretty hard to remove. So be careful because being in aluminium, they are really easy to, to damage. And if you check it out, this oil is clearly bad because it's completely dark, if you see it. And it should be yellow, kind of. So it's definitely a sign as well that you should change the oil. Now we remove this small protection that usually comes with every brake. And you insert the 8mm wrench, in this case. Usually it's always this size. And with the plastic tube, you make sure it's well tight. So now what you're gonna do is unscrew this bolt and let the oil get in the syringe. Just pull it, it all come out. As you can see, there's a lot of small bubbles, so that means that there was clearly too much air on the brake system. Be careful not to spill this oil because DOT4 brake fluid is a bit corrosive, so be careful where you let it drip. So pour it where you can, because this is nasty. Once there's no more fluid coming out, check on the oil reservoir. How is it? If it's dry, if there's anything left. And if there is, clean it. Uh, use some old rags or some paper to clean it well to remove all the old brake fluid. So now you fill the syringe with oil. And now simply insert the tube on the 
break again, you let it loose, and you pump it back in. And you'll see that on the reservoir up top, you'll see it start filling in because you're pushing well oil from the bottom. To regain pressure, what you have to do is keep pumping the brake lever and loosen the brake caliper's bolt. What will happen is that you'll brake, some oil will come out, and what you have to do is, while you are braking, you have to close the, um, the brake caliper's nut. This step is actually the most important because it's the step that allows you to build up some pressure on the hydraulic system. This step is something that you have to do according to your feel. So it's something that you might have to do three, four, even five times until you build up enough hydraulic pressure. And that's it. That's easy as that. Now the only thing you need to do to finish it up, you need to fill the rest of the reservoir with oil, close the cap and make sure you don't have any air in it. And it's all done. Hope you liked it and subscribe.